Hello and welcome to the Cloud Perceptive channel. In continuation to my previous video, wherein you know we enabled uh, MFA delete on a bucket. So this was the bucket on which we enabled the MFA delete. Uh, so if we look at down to the properties, you can see this uh, multi-factor authentication delete option is enabled, and bucket versioning is also. Enabled. So remember one thing in mind that. You know, if you want to enable MFA delete option, you must also enable bucket versioning. Along with that, one more thing, one more important point is only root user can enable and disable MFA delete on a bucket. Okay. So now, uh, uh, yeah, apart from that, I also created some test objects. Okay, uploaded one test file and created different versions. So this card.jpg file I uploaded and I created two versions of it. So I'll try to delete this version, you know, without uh, providing any MFA key. So let's go back to the AWS uh, shell. Okay, now I'll type in the command. So sudo AWS S3 API. Okay, and uh, delete object object and it will ask uh, I need to provide the bucket name so bucket and the bucket name is this cloud perceptor test bucket paste it over here and I uh, also need to provide the key so key is this car.zip web file okay I'll paste it over here and uh, I'll provide the version ID. Okay. Version hyphen ID. Take this version ID, which is this one. Okay. Uh, you can enable the versions, uh, like to show versions from this. Okay. This option. Okay. I will hit enter now. So as you can see, we now get an error that an error occurred access denied while calling the delete object operation. MFA authentication must be used for this request. So as you can see, this means that our MFA delete is working fine now. It is uh, basically the request we made for deleting this object requires an MFA key to be provided. Okay. So you can uh, just think how secure it is you know even the even i'm logged in with the root account and i'm not able to delete this file without providing mfa so it is more secured okay. now let's uh, try by providing mfa key okay so we'll provide the mfa key i'm using uh authy android version to generate mfa key Okay, so we'll get, uh, we'll uh, need the serial number of that MFA. So let me click on security credentials. And multi-factor authentication, you see the serial number, right? You need to copy it from here and just Pasting it to check. Okay, paste it over here. And apart from that, it will require the MFA key. Okay, that is generated from your uh, virtual MFA device. Okay, so I'm using Authy. So I got this key six zero one three zero one. I'll type in over here one three zero one. If you want to know how you to you know uh, configure virtual MFA device a video is available on my uh, YouTube channel also I will paste the link for the same video in the description okay now we'll hit enter you see it has successfully deleted this version let's go back to our s3 and uh, head back to that bucket and we'll see if that version is deleted or not. Okay. So cloud perceptor test bucket and click on show show version. 
as you can see we have only one version which is available now and the previous one is deleted so that's how you know mfa delete works that's how you can use it i will also paste this command in the description box so that it becomes handy when you are uh, implementing or deleting any of them thank you for watching this video do like and subscribe my channel see you again bye bye